1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire. Christopher Daly is an average 17-year-old boy. He goes to school, enjoys a frenzy of social activity, and has a part-time job. As a matter of fact, today Christopher is working for his brother David Daly, owner and operator of All Green Lawn Maintenance. This is their life. This is their story. Well, when David was about 10, we noticed that he was very interested in keeping our yard clean all the time, and so we realized he would be good at a business of landscaping and uh, even when he was 10 neighbors would say he's always cleaning up your yard did we make him do that but he just loved doing it now when he was 13 he came up with a flyer that really showed he wanted to do his own business and this showed that at 13 this was what was of interest to him The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Uh, everywhere you look, there's a heart, there's a heart, a hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a face of somebody who needs you. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a heart. Then I started cutting her hair in, our, in my subdivision with the push mower, just kind of walking down the street. And I had about 10 yards, I'd say. And uh, that kept me pretty busy for, uh, for the summer. And uh, I saved, saved a lot of money. That was the best year right there. I made about 99% profit. I used my dad's lawnmower. He uh, helped me out pay for the gas. I mean, it was, it was great. I had a big old fat wad of cash in my desk. Those days are long gone. So Mark, what would you say is the most aggravating thing that a client could do? You know, I'd have to say it's people who leave their garbage out in the lawn and expect me to pick it up. That's not part of my job. I don't do that. Hey, I thought you were doing my lawn. Aren't you going to pick up my mess here? Hey, I'm a lawn maintenance engineer, not a waste removal technician. I pay you $25 every week. Yeah, you you got to clean everything up. You pay, me nice to cut, you pay me to cut the grass, not pick up the trash. I don't do that. What Look, about the grass under lawn the lawn? maintenance engineer. All green. Look, it, there's grass under here, won't you? You got to cut the grass. I'll cut it. I'll cut it when I run it over with the stuff. And we'll see. What are you going to do? So, Matthew, seeing that you're the new guy here at All Green, the rookie, so to speak, uh, have you ever uh, experienced any pranks or jokes? Well, there was that one time. Did you check out these new boots I got, man? Like, Sorry, guys. I won't be able to work for about six weeks but my ankle's playing badminton. Badminton? No. Isn't that a girl sport? So what? this is a man's work. You gotta work, man. Come on, let's go. Come on! Take him out. Try him with that. Not if I can take care of it. You're gonna go. I'm gonna kill you. Take it. Take it. Take it! It's the end of ping pong. So, uh, how is the pay here at All Green? Well, it's not too good, but it's not bad, but we have other ways of making ends meet. Alright, I'm gonna fight fair, put a lot of money in, I made the man who put the most in, 
lose. All right? All right. Break. Break. Right. So, Mr. Masek, uh, here you're a pretty good weed whacker, pretty good uh, expert at weed whacking. So, what qualities would you say that one should possess to be a good weed whacker? Well, you know, not many people really appreciate the fine art of weed whacking. I mean, it's really something that takes experience and, and practice, lots of practice. You know, in order to really get good at it, I mean, I would actually recommend taking a course, you know, just like one that I teach. Big Pong, come along here. Okay. I am so glad that you decided to learn how to weed whack here. Hey Mike. Now, first thing I want to start you off with is this model here of the weed whacker that we commonly use here at All Green. Now, I want you to take that. I want you to study it. I want you to know that like the back of your hand. Now, I, like every 10 minutes, pull that thing out and look at it. Now, basically, there are three basic types and styles to weed whack. There is horizontal, which you take the grass like this, nice straight edge it creates. Then there's also angular, you hit it at maybe maybe 45 degree angle. It could be any variation really. And I mean that allows you to be a real artist with it. Then there's also vertical. And that's, that's real good for grass that's in between landscaping. It's really hard to get at. You can go at it vertically like that. Okay, now, come along here. Let me ask you a question. What style of weed bag would you use right here along this touch? Uh, vertical? No, 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 wrong. Oh. So, uh, Christopher, do you ever find that being the boss's brother you ever get any special perks or privileges? Uh, yeah, I really do. Uh, in the absence of my brother, which is quite frequent and often, I pretty much get to run the crew. Then I, uh, when I turned 16, I took that money, invested, and I got a truck, my first uh, commercial lawnmower. It was a beater, but it worked. And uh, got my brother and my friend to start working for me. And uh, it just kind of went from there, you know. I, I had everything going. Just kind of established, worked things up, got better equipment, got better employees, because the first ones are, uh, eh, they're pretty good. They're still good guys. And uh, it just kind of went from there. This is impossible! Okay. Ah! <laughs> what do we got, Mark? How many yards we got left? I don't know, about 38 or so. 
38, that's good. Yeah. Uh, we should probably should be done by dark, huh? Yeah, we should we'll be done by dark, because... Uh, looks like we got a 242 up here. Uh-oh. They need some, looks like these uh -oh. guys need some help. No. Uh -oh. Wait. <laughs> hey, you guys need some help with that? This is impossible. All right, sir, we'll get this lawn cleaned up for you, no problem. All right, boys! Card. He needs to come again, just give us a call. All green law maintenance. I certainly will. All right. David has some real good qualities that help him to be successful in the business with All Green. And what comes to mind for that is David's always determined to accomplish something and to see it through. And he's also very organized. So with him being thorough and organized and determined, that's definitely what's made All Green a success. So there you have it. All green lawn maintenance. What's next for this thriving empire? Only time may tell, but one thing's for sure. Where there is grass that needs to be cut, where there are hedges that need to be trimmed, whenever a man shrieks out in terror, dear God, what is wrong with my lawn? David Daly will be there. Oh.